Hi, it's Jerry with I Love RV Life. We get questions all the time. We see it on Facebook. We get it on our YouTube responses. How do you find such great campgrounds? Well, today I'm going to show you how we use All Stays Pro. Hi, it's Jerry. We get questions all the time. Look, we look on Facebook, we get responses to our YouTube videos, and people are constantly asking, you find good campgrounds, how do you do it? Well, Joan and I just finished laying out our route for all summer, three months. We're going to take two weeks off and come home. Then we're taking off again for two more months. Woohoo, we're ready for travel. And uh, I have, you know, all kinds of apps that I've used over time. And look, there's some great apps out there. And everybody has their own kind of look and feel on how they do their research. And it's not that any of them are bad. Just some fit people's style and desires better than other. So two years ago, we purchased uh, All Stays Pro. You can buy a one year, three year, multiple year type configuration. All Stays Pro is not an app. It runs on a website. Now you can view it from your phone, you can view it from a tablet, you can view it from your PC. Usually when I do my planning I either pull it up on my PC with multiple screens and Joan and I pulls a chair around and we start looking at things or uh, I'll just sit with a laptop in the evening or even a tablet and I'll look at the different types of things that we can find out there and Allstays Pro is really really extensive campgrounds free places to stay like your Walmarts and those types of things truck stops um, you get comments is this Walmart a safe place to stay at night uh, are they friendly are they open will they let you park and then you get into the campgrounds where you can actually look at directions uh, see them on the map go directly to their website just on and on and on and I'll show you how we use that here in just a few minutes but then it even goes into another specific area all stays pro also has what I refer to as a truckers location and I'll show you that as well a number of apps for truckers I know Joan and I aren't truckers but we are a 40 foot fifth wheel with a big super duty truck and it is 56 feet long and Joan and I kind of have a rule, if that truck can make it in there, that tractor trailer can move in there, so can we. So that's kind of our rule of thumb of where you can park and where you can't park, where you can go and where you can't go. So there's some applications in there too, such as, and this is a biggie for Joan and I, do we have heights on underpasses, railroad crossings, bridges, those types of things. I'll show you how we use that to do our route planning. Allstays Pro, in our view, is probably one of those all-encompassing travel apps. Does it cost a few dollars? It does. Is it worth it? In my opinion, it's perfect. Come on, let me, I'm going to pull this up on the PC and I'll show you how we use it. I've logged into our Allstays Pro site. So the first thing that we're going to do is go down here and explore Allstays Pro. And here you'll notice that we have a number of different areas. We've got a camper section, we have a driver section, and then we have some extras over here as well. And we're going to start over here with the uh, what they call Camp RV Pro Everything. This is the most extensive database that they have. And here we're pulling up a map of the United States. And uh, let's say that we're going to go somewhere here in Kentucky. Let's just use this as an example. And I'm going to zoom in. Let's say, let's go up to Mammoth Caves. There's Mammoth Caves National Park. And we can see up around Mammoth Cave, there's a lot of different campgrounds and various other things. Now notice all the different types of um, icons that we have here. We have campgrounds, we have, uh, we have things like loves, which is very important for us where we can pull in and get diesel, those types of things. And I can narrow this down by clicking on this dashboard icon. And if you'll notice here in this icon I have everything turned on camping fuel stop stores bridges all those right now I'm gonna turn these off just to get some of the noise uh, off the screen and I want to be able to look just at campgrounds for now so we'll get rid of that 
and now we'll go back over here and you'll notice I only have campgrounds so let's say that uh, you know we're coming out of Nashville going up the highway here we're going to go up above Bowling Green we're going to go as close to uh, Mammoth Caves there's Mammoth Caves we see first of all here are national parks if I wanted to see what was available at the national park I can click there it gives me the GPS location telephone numbers I can get weather reports if I want to go to the website so here I've clicked on this section for the website and you see it brings up the National Park Service and uh, you know all this is right at my fingertips only takes seconds then I can now go and you know click in this reservation area and you know do what is you know do whatever is available if I want to go in this specific area and do whatever research that I want to be able to do for staying at the National Park but this also has other types of campgrounds as well let me show you those so now going back to the screen, I see that there's other types of campgrounds located here as well, and I can kind of zoom in, and uh, let's go over here. Here's one that's, you know, just minutes off the interstate. I can see it's right over here near Cave City, and I can click on this one. Here's Cave Country RV Campground. So again, I can look here. I've got a full address. i got GPS locations. i got a telephone number. Sometimes we... You know, we'll look at uh, the web link and see what's available. And um, sometimes we'll end up calling the telephone number. What do you have available? Uh, we're this big. Uh, we want to be able to fit inside this specific location. The other thing I can do is I can click and look at reviews. Now looking at the reviews here, I can look and see, you know, here's October 9 of 2020, October 14th of 2019. You know, there's other places I can go for reviews as well, such as, you know your your Google reviews, uh, Travel Advisor, various other locations. But I can at least take a quick look here and go, oh okay, convenient the Mammoth Caves, um, camped with a fifth wheel, couldn't be nicer, awesome dog park, etc. Then I can start looking at this five stars. Here's another five star, another five star, another four star, five star. I'm going okay, Joan. This might be a place that we want to go to. So now I can start looking at this at a little bit closer review. Going back to the web interface again, I'm going to go back to that icon for Cave Country. I'm going to click on it and go, well, let's just go to the website and see what this location looks like. So I'll click on a web link. So now I've gone to their website and I can look at their website and I see that they've got videos and they've got you know, all kinds of information here, things to do, things to do in the area, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I can do the typical types of things of looking at the grounds. You know, and they've got pictures of the various grounds. They've got a map here that I can look at. So once we finish looking here, you know, we would call them if this was a place that we wanted to go to and we wanted to book. And we would call them and book that site. And the nice thing here is I can now dial back out. And if we wanted to continue our travels, uh, let's say we, you know, we wanted to go up to to Lexington and stay for a while. We could go up here to Lexington and do the exact same thing again. We could look at, you know, campgrounds that were, I see state parks that are here. I see other campgrounds that are in the area. Uh, if we wanted to, you know, continue to go over. Let's say we wanted to, you know, now head down into Virginia. We could look at this specific area and look at the Virginia, Tennessee line, see what was available in this specific area. And you just see a multitude of campgrounds. You click on a specific campground, it pulls it up, gives you a telephone number. You can look here quickly and get an average rating. Uh, you can also go down here and depending on what's been put into the site, you know, you get, uh, you know, kind of a dollar amount figure. Uh, they start from one dollar and go higher. 200 sites, RV only, you know, on and on 50 amps. Uh, we can look at a specific map of how to be able to get there quickly to uh, kind of plot out a route from where I'm sitting or going back to. I can click on that specific area. And by clicking on the map, you know, it will actually plot from where we are currently sitting and give us, you know, the recommended Google route if, if you're looking at something like that. So going back out to the main map, again, we'll turn on some uh, additional uh, additional things here. Um, if we were looking, and, and this is what we'll do when we lay out our map. We'll go, okay, we've got to make stops along the way and refuel. You know, so if we were leaving out of Georgia, 
we will uh, turn on the fuel stops when we do our planning and I'll actually kind of plot out you know how we'll be going from one location to another so you know at some point in time I know that I'm gonna have to get some fuel at, you know at some location so I can kind of dial in here and say okay we can make it about this far here's a pilot that we can go to you know and I can actually click on that and again I get this that this is on a specific highway I-24 going northbound at 135 you know so I can put that down in my notes this is a good place to stay I also see that it has a Wendy's a Dunkin Donuts there's a barbecue place next door there's an ATM if I need it you know all the kinds of critical things that we want when we're going up the road knowing that we can grab us something to eat get our fuel rest our legs for a few minutes as we continue on our destination so this is extremely handy to be able to look at these types of things um, you know if you want to look at you know bridges and grades you can turn this on so I'll turn everything else off just so you can you know kind of get an idea of what this looks like I'm not going to give you a specific route per se but now you can start seeing things of okay um, on these various highways if I was going to get off into a specific location you can see based on my height uh, you know if we're safe to continue on so you can look going up the highway here this is I-24 going up the road you can see the various overpasses that I would be going into and you can see where I don't want to get off on so there's a seven seven foot crossing we're not going to go over there um, you know as we get over here close to Franklin Tennessee if we were to get over on State Road 96 this would not be a safe location for us to go these are 10 foot 10 and a half foot bridges I can't go up underneath those um, you can look over here here's um, here's some over here that are in the 12 foot area I can't go in those um, but as I would be going into Nashville you see that there's a number of locations here as long as I'm staying on the main highways I'm going to be fine it's when I get off of the main highways onto some of these side streets and things like that which I have no business going on um, that's where I would get into trouble but as long as I'm staying you know on the main downtown routes or going on the bypasses as I would be traveling through Nashville um, I would be safe. I wouldn't have any problem. As I would continue as I go through on up through I-65, you see some low overpasses here, but they're not on the main, they're not on the main thoroughfare. So as long as I'm staying on 65, you see that I'm, again, these are off on the small side roads. I'm going to be fine going up 65. You know, here's a 14 foot, etc., etc. So this is just absolutely invaluable as we start our route planning, knowing that uh, if we had any thought of getting off onto a side road for any specific reason I can look over here and go this is not the side road that we want to be on we cannot navigate this road that is the overpasses are far far too low um, this can save you tons of headache tons of dollars and tons of damage potentially to your RV so this is a, a very valuable a very valuable to, uh, tool and it's just here at a click to be able to turn these off and on to be able to look at these types of things. Let's look at another area here again as we start doing our travel planning. Uh, you know I've showed you how to find campgrounds. Uh, I took you through the various uh, areas of where we can look at underpasses, we can look at fuel stops and things like that. But at the same time Joan and I, you know, after about two and a half, three hours uh, we like to just pull over, do a quick leg stretch, and uh, we like to know where our, leg, our rest stops might be. Here I'll just zoom into this specific area, and we're going to be looking for rest stops. And let's say we're going to be starting from somewhere around middle to south Georgia. We know it's going to take us about three hours to go through Atlanta, and we're going to get up here close to Chattanooga. So I can you know, start drilling in. We're going to be going up I-75. And I see right here on about the uh, Georgia line, and you can notice if I zero in a little bit, I can look here and see there's a slight down arrow. That's a southbound, and we're going to be going northbound. So right here on the line, I see that this arrow is pointing north as we're continuing up through here. And ah, look at here. I can look at here's a rest stop. And I say, yes, they've got truck parking that I can fit my you know big fifth wheel into. And... Um, you know here's restrooms and picnic tables and vending and you know if you need to walk the pets around you can do that as well 
And it, you know, it's the Welcome Center, so I can get some additional information. Again, GPS rating, I can look here. This has got a five-star rating. And there's other information here that you can click to look at reviews. You can look at, you know, the location on the website. But this is sufficient enough for us to be able to mark this down. This is the rest stop that we're going to pull over when we're ready for our leg stretch. Now let me show you this as well. So I've showed you again, I've showed you campgrounds, I've all the things that exist within that. I've showed you rest stops. Let me show you Walmart parking and there's a number of reasons that you might want to be able to use this as well. So here's Walmart parking. This, uh, and you notice that this is set on for a specific state. Let's just go ahead and use Georgia as a for instance. Now we, Joan and I may or may not be staying overnight in a Walmart, but a lot of times Walmarts are a great place to be able to stop because they've got big parking spaces. There's uh, places to, um, you know, find uh, something to eat at in that area, or we may need to go into a Walmart and, um, you know, buy some, you know, buy some goods. So, you know, we're on a state road at this time. Let's just use this as an example. And uh, there may not be a rest area that's nearby. Uh, so we know that we can go into some of these uh, Walmarts that might be in the area. Here's an example. Let's say we're going to be going on this state road um, up through Georgia going up into the North Carolina mountains. And I say, okay, here's a Walmart right here. And let's see if this might fit our specific needs. So I can uh, open this one up. I see that it is a full service Walmart center. And uh, I've got directions to where I can go to this one. I see it's got grocery, it's got medical clinic, it's got, you know, it's open 24 hours. There's a pharmacy there, a tire and lube if I was to need it for any specific reason. And um, here's where we can look. These are some older responses here, but I see that they've got a guard rail, rail a perimeter around the lot that's very, very comfortable to stop at. And uh, I see this one would probably fit our needs as we continue going up these areas. And again, this is very, very important. A lot of times, especially on these state roads, there are no places for you to be able to pull over with a large fifth wheel and a large truck or a large Class A. And um, having this at my fingertips as we start doing our planning, I go, okay, Joan, this is the Walmart we're going to stop at, you know, after we've been driving for about three hours. Again, leg stretch, get us something to eat as we continue up the road. Very valuable, very, very valuable in our planning. And then, you know, again, if you want to change the state that you're going into and we wanted to look, well, let's go a little bit further than Georgia. Let's go up into North Carolina. We can do that as we continue our North Carolina trip. So I can move the map over here to this specific section. Here's where we were going up the highway. I can zero in. I see there's one in Franklin. I can see there's one in Silva. I see there's one in Waynesville as we were continuing our trip up through this specific area of North Carolina. I can click in here, see that it's not far from I-40. That's an example. Here's the one that's in, here's the one in Silva. Here's the one in Franklin. Again, there's so many different things that you can use with this tool that's just, again, so very valuable, very valuable in your RV travel. One last item. Let's say that you've got to your campground and there has been something happened to your RV and you need, need to find a dealer in service. Here you could, you know, click on this specific uh, icon here showing RV dealers and so forth in a specific area. And I will just stay in Georgia here just to kind of make it simple. And uh, we can look here in this specific area and I can click here uh, around, uh, let's say we're around the Cleveland area and I can click here and here's Mountain Creek RV service that I could contact. Here is a camper corner that I can contact and see if they may be able to do repairs for me. Uh, I could go down here into Gainesville and see there's a number of different locations here. There's a truck center. There is, um, you know, a Kenworth center. If I've got a big Class A, then I need my Kenworth worked on. Uh, I can click over here and see there's truck parts on and on and on that I can go through here and do my research quickly. Try to narrow down what is the, you know, the best 
type of uh, service that I need to be able to gain access to to get my RV taken care of. So again, another very helpful tool to quickly find those types of things that you need as you do your RV planning, your travel planning, uh, rest stops, fuel, you know, all those types of things that you need to be able to, you know, take care of your RV needs. I hope you found that information helpful. I know I went through Allstays Pro rather quickly, but there's so much information right at your fingertips from campgrounds to rest stops, Walmarts, RV locations that you can get your repairs done. So much information that you can quickly access as you're using for your RV travel. Joan and I find this application absolutely invaluable as we're doing our travel planning, especially if we're doing these big two month, three month loops as we're going from one location to another location. You know, where do we want to be able to go to? What rest stops do we want to go to? Uh, where is a fuel location we may need to stop at? And then that way we can just jot down a few notes and it's right there at our fingertips as we go down the road. No stress, everything's just right there, quickly available. And we know these are the places that we want to go to. Telephone numbers that we can call, web addresses that we can view these locations, incredibly helpful. And reviews, we can get quick reviews if this is where we want to go as well. We really, really do enjoy using Allstays Pro. It is our go-to web application that we use in our travel on a daily basis. Well, if you found this helpful, go to our website, ilovervlife.com, or you can wait at the end of this video. There's a button that you can go to to click on today's blog. Down at the bottom of the blog will be a icon that you can go to that you can click on for All Stays Pro if you want to consider purchasing it or if you just need more information about what this application has available to you. You can click there and they have an extensive number of locations that you can go to look at all the various components that are available for your travel planning needs in your RV. It is just, like I said, our go-to tool that we use. Hope you found this helpful. We love doing these types of reviews for everyone to be able to see. And of course, I love RV life too. Mm -hmm.